Jose Mourinho was appointed Real Madrid manager in 2010. He left the club after his third season. He then moved on to Chelsea and was sacked in his third season. He then went on to Man United and was sacked in his third season. Now at Roma, he has been sacked in his third season. Mourinho brings clubs success, but he doesn't bring long-term success. He's not going to be at a club 10 years. The longest he's ever been at a club was four years. That was back in the 90s where he was Barcelona's assistant coach. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what happened to Roma and Jose Mourinho and another tale of the three-year curse. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Prior to Jose Mourinho's arrival at Roma, the club hadn't won a trophy in 13 years, and the idea was bringing in the self-proclaimed special one, someone who was a specialist at winning trophies. In his first transfer window, he spent 130 million euros, bringing in the likes of Vigna, Ibinez, Rui Patricio, and most significantly Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham's first season at Roma was absolutely incredible. 17 goals in Serie A, 9 goals in the Conference League, and played a significant part in Roma's first trophy win in 14 years. Roma would be the first team to win the newly implemented European competition and Jose Mourinho would be the first manager to win every single European trophy. Roma would also finish 6th in Serie A. Roma would only spend 9 million euros in the summer of 2022 as most of the significant transfers were free transfers. Dybala, Balate, Llorente, Nevania Matic all for less than a Fredo. Well, not factoring their multi-million dollar a year contracts, so maybe a little bit more expensive than a Fredo. Tammy Abraham had a significant drop off, only scoring 9 goals in all competition. It was a frustrating season for him. The man that stepped up though was Paolo Dybala who scored 18 goals in all competition. Five of those goals were in the Europa League, which spearheaded Roma to a Europa League final. Jose Mourinho had never lost a European final until now, as they lost it in quite controversial fashion. The game was level, and well, this happened. A very clear handball inside the box. Roma score that, the game doesn't go to penalties, Roma don't lose, and they win the Europa League. Unsurprisingly, an English referee gets the decision wrong, Roma lose the Europa League, and Roma don't win back-to-back -back European trophies. Back-to-back -back years of Roma spending 9 million euros in the transfer market, and most of that was on Romelu Lukaku, whose loan is they would spend 6 million euros on a loan free, they were bringing Paredes for 2 million euros, free transfers like Hussam Awar, Indikia, Renato Sanchez on loan, and in terms of departures, they would make 75 million euros, most significantly losing a Benes to Saudi Arabia. And well, here we are, 20 games into the Serie A season, Roma are ninth in the table, and Jose Mourinho's time at Roma has come to an end. While ninth does sound bad, it is a bit of a false position, because they are only 5 points off the top 4. He wins the next 3 games, you're thinking he's doing a brilliant job, because they probably sit 4th. Chris Smalling has been out for the majority of the season, he's been a key player in Mourinho's tenure, so that's going to be a big loss. Tammy Abraham hasn't played at all this season, I know he was bad last year, but he's still a good player. Roma's recent results have been bad, but you look at the teams they're playing, a 2 0 loss to Bologna, a team two places above them, they're having a good season, they then beat Napoli 2-0, that's a good result even if Napoli aren't having a great season, a 1-0 loss to Juventus, Juventus are having a fantastic season, they're in the title race, a win in the Coppa Italia, one all draw with Atalanta, a team a few places above them, a 1-0 loss to local rivals Lazio who are 6th, and then AC Milan, a team in third. All their losses have come to teams that are above them. So from their last seven games, four of those games were losses. It's not great, but you consider those four losses were to all teams in the top seven of the league. Is it really that bad? It's not like they were completely battered by any of those teams. I just think their sacking is such an overreaction, especially when you consider Mourinho is clearly passionate about Roma. He clearly cares about the club, and the fans clearly care about him. I don't really understand why they've sacked him. But I'm not the one that makes those decisions. Roma have made their decision, and they've replaced Mourinho with the Rossi, former Roma player, what a player he was, absolute beast of a midfielder. Will he be as good of a manager? Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But let me know what you think in the comments. Was Mourinho sacking right and was his time at Roma a success or a failure? Let me know what you think. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.